Oh, this is insane. Oh, it's such a crush. Today we're in the south of India and we're in Madurai. This city is known as the street food capital of the south. We have got so many hidden gems lined up to share with you. Madurai in the south of India is the city that never sleeps. It has a nighttime street food scene like no other in India. This is our third video from Madurai and we're delving into the heart of the local food culture. We eat an evening favourite, kotu parota at a roadside street store that is packed with locals. It's frenetic, smoky and one of the most chaotic spots we've ever filmed. We drink Madurai's iconic Paruthi Pal, a steaming hot cottonseed milk from a third generation family store, and devour gloopy sticky halwa, one of the most popular sweets in the city, from a legendary shop that sells over 250 trays a day. In this India series we'll show you some of the country's best food, from unique street food to traditional recipes. You don't want to miss this series. Get ready for some mouth-watering food. I'm Thomas and I'm Sheena and we're chasing a plate. We hope you're hungry. Let's eat. Madurai is known as the city that never sleeps and that's because it has a bustling nightlife. Like it's just gone dark now and look at the street. There are so many people out there, there's so much traffic. The temples stay open, the shops stay open and of course there is a ton of nighttime street eats to be found. Now our first street food is actually a drink and it's a very unique drink. It's something that you can only find in Madurai and it's called Paruthi Pal. And actually this one is perfect for me because it's supposed to be good for coughs and colds and I've got a really bad cold at the moment so I'm hoping that this will cure me. Let's go and grab a drink. Male vanakam. Is this the paruti pal? Paruti pal, Yeah, this is going to be good for me because I've got a cold and a cough. <laughs> yeah. Go your hand. Okay. Um, can we please? Oh, can I try some? Hmm. Oh, the gentleman has just given me some of the powder that goes into the drink. So it smells like ginger. 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 So it'll be perfect for me. So this is the powdered ginger that goes into the Paruthi Pal. It's also got cotton seeds, jaggery, I believe, um, some more spices and herbs. It's a hot drink. Wonderful, Nandri. Okay, so the gentleman was just pulling the the Paruthi Pal and he actually popped the powdered ginger into the um, the cup first and then he added the liquid on top of that and it is very hot oh and it's got a really beautiful smell to it Paruthi Pal is made up of a ton of different ingredients so it's got things like oh a cow has just shown up He's come to grab a drink of water. <laughs> India is so crazy, I love it here so much. So, <laughs> so what have I got in this Paruthi Pal? It's got cottonseed extract, jaggery, which is a type of sugar. There's ginger, there's cardamom, and it's been thickened. You can see how thick it is with uh, rice flour. So let's give this um, a taste. Whoa, it's very spicy from the ginger and very thick, quite soothing on the throat. Mmm, it's quite sweet too from that jaggery. And the, the Paruthi Pal is actually sitting in this big copper pot, which is boiling hot. You can see the steam coming out of it. And the guy's just pulling the Paruthi Pal from one cup to the next stretching it a bit and then pouring it, it into the glasses. <laughs> I still can't believe this cow's just rocked up and has just taken its place in front of this store. And you can see all the people all um, coming here to this store for a glass of the Paruthi Pal. And we've come to this store in particular because it's been around for 90 years. So it's been around for a really long time. Doing one thing and doing it super well. I hope this cures me of my cold. We have come uh, across town for our next street food and look at this little um, street food stand. There are so many people in here. Whoa! And the smoke coming out. 
That is stinging my eyes, all the spices and chilies that they're cooking. We're having another very Madurai dish here. It's called Kotu Parata. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, I wish you had smell vision That's insane. And look at this crowd. We're going to have to fight our way through and try and uh, get some food up the back, I think. Whoa. This is crazy, crazy busy. I have absolutely no idea who works here, where we're meant to go. Oh, the parata, so all the bread cooking up here. Oh, this is insane. I'm just going to work my way in and try and find someone who can help us out. Bana come. Can we eat? See? <laughs> Nandri, you work your way through the crowd and there are a few tables back here. And a bunch of people eating on banana leaves. This is nuts. This is one of the craziest street food places ever. The amount of people here. Bana come. Wow. I'm in the mass of people and the sound you can hear, that crashing sound, that is the signature of this dish. So over the back here, the guy's making the kotu parota and he's got these big um, blades that he's cutting it up with. Oh, it's such a crush. So over this side, they're making all the parota, all the bread, and over this side, they're making it up. This is amazing. This is an incredible place. So we've made our way through the crowd. We're up the back now, waiting for one of only four tables in the place. Um, out, look at this, like out the back, they've got all the gravies cooking to go off the meal. It's uh, got a mud floor still. It's, it's essentially just a roof on the side of the road because it's built over a tree even. So there's a tree in here holding up the roof. This is an insanely amazing street food stall. It's very rare in a city to still find a stall like this with you know mud floors, massive crowds coming in, a very sort of um, temporary structure. And that is exactly what this is. It is so neat. And the food that everyone's chowing into looks so, so good. We've got our portion of Kotu Parata, and this place is amazing. It's like nowhere else we've ever been, and the food looks really good. So this is the Kotu Parata. So they take that bread that we've seen cooking over there and being made. They take the bread, and I can see egg in there, I can see tomato, I can see chicken, obviously a whole lot of herb um, spices. It gets all put onto that hot plate together, and then cut up with those big, um, oh, oh, some chicken. Nandri, Nandri. Okay, we thought we had some chicken gravy coming, but we've actually got some, some beautiful chicken cooked on the bone, so full of um, onions I can see in there. Look at that, that's just going to be collapsing off the bone. Seriously, look how busy it is. We've been here about 20 or 30 minutes waiting for food. <laughs> Whoa, the smell in the air is so strong. It's really good. It's been this busy the whole time. Totally nuts unreal street food place. Let's get into this. I can't sit here talking about it any longer. Oh, look at that. Nice and dry, actually. Very nice and dry. Mm. Oh. oh, that's so good. Mm. There's a lot of the parotta or the bread in there. And that's taken on the flavors so incredibly well. The bread's also cooked with a lot of oil, so the bread's not dry at all. Oh man, that is so good. Mm. Oh, it's a bit tangy, it's a spicy, it's got a good hit of chili. Bread is unreal. Mm. That is so well rounded. Oh. Perfect amount of salt as well. I'm getting a pepperiness. Unreal. I'm starting to see why there's so many people here. Let's grab some of this chicken that we've we've managed to order by mistake, but man, I'm glad we made this mistake. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's delicious. Basically roasted chicken. Mm. Smoky, smoky, spicy. That's gonna go perfectly. Oh, with the kotu parata. Oh, they are such a good combo. <coughs> this is an incredible stall. This is one of these ones where you would travel halfway around the world to eat here again because it's so memorable. It's got so much going on and the food is so good. We've 
come back across town for our next street food. Marurai comes alive at night, so everything's open still. It's about 11 p.m. All the shops are open, and of course, all of the street food is still out. Actually, some of the places don't even open till about 9 p.m. and continue right through the night. We've arrived at our stop. So this place here sells a sweet called halwa, and Seriously, every time we walk past this place, and we walk past it pretty much every day, they are raging. There's always tons and tons of people buying halwa or eating halwa. So let's go and grab some. Manakam. Male manakam. Can I please uh, have some halwa? Yeah, is that it there? Wow, it looks great. Just one serve, please. Nandri, wow. Oh, it's hot too. Wow. I've got my hawa in hand and it is really hot in temperature, very hot. This lady actually was um, really curious about me ordering and eating it, so she's standing next to me and I'm um, making sure I'm doing it right. Natali, Natali, Chuchalan. Chuchalan. Natali. Oh, you're from. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. I think she's just saying that she's actually in Maurai for uh, for Pongo. You come? You come for Pongo. She's New Year. Come, New Year. Yes. She's come from out of town to Maurai for Pongo because it's Tamil New Year. Um, in any case, this halwa here it looks so interesting. The halwa is actually made up of ghee, semolina, and sugar, and it is so hot to the touch. It's almost boiling. It's uh, quite blob-like. It reminds me of just a, a jam or a preserve. And it's served on this beautiful leaf here. I think it's a mountain ebony, mountain ebony tree leaf. And look at this. What's your name? My name. My name's Sheena. What's your name? My name is Krishna. Nice to meet you. Happy Pongo. Happy Pongo. So I've got a, I've got a whole group of ladies here. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Have you all come to Madurai for Pongal? Mm. You come here and to, you're eating a lot in Madurai? <laughs> People here are very friendly in the south of India and they're always very interested. I think what I love about eating street food in India is that the Indians are so proud of their food culture and so when you are eating they are just they're just thrilled to see you enjoy the food. So while we're here, I'm just gonna. Oh yeah, they're my bangles. Say my bangles. All right, I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna eat. Bye. Nice to meet you. Bye. They're such characters. All right, let's get this halwa down. Oh, that's really good. I can see why it's so popular very sweet has a very gooey texture very soft and it is hot you can see if you come closer that it's very shiny and that's from all of the ghee in there so ghee is a type of clarified butter so it's just got a beautiful shine to it mmm oh I love how it's not a massive portion oh my gosh so see what I mean the nightlife here is nuts. There is so much honking. We're on uh, just off the main road. So much traffic tearing past. People are out and about. It's wild. The taste of the hull is so strong in my mouth. Very buttery and sweet. And we were just chatting to the guys and they said that they sell a minimum of 250 trays of that halwa a day. They're very famous. There are just people pouring in. It's been here for over 50 years, so they've got a really reputable brand. And when we were chatting to them, they said, okay, you've tried this, the traditional one, have a taste of these specialty ones. So we've got one made with coconut oil, a carrot halwa, an almond halwa, and then one which is a milk-based one. So I want to try this carrot one. This is very intriguing. So these are served room temperature. They're not, not hot like that one I had before. Mmm. Mmm. It tastes like carrot cake. Super, super sweet. Now let's get into this um, this almond one. And I love almond flavored stuff. This is going to be right up my alley. This is, um, so these ones are not as gooey as that traditional one. Mm. 
It's got a bit of texture to it, so a little bit grainy and sweet and a very subtle almond flavour. These are going down a treat.